Hello and welcome to my class. In this video, I am going to discuss the salient features and suitable examples of order Zygentoma. This order was previously known as order Thysanura. This order belongs to subclass Apterigota or the subclass of wingless insects. Silverfish, firebrats and bristletails are common examples under order Zygentoma. This word bristletail is also used for some other insects but here these kind of insects will be known as bristletails and we will put them under order Zygentoma. Now earlier Zygentoma was a suborder under order Thysanura which was under subclass Apterigota. But now only one order Zygentoma is used. This order Zygentuma includes five families. Three of them are more well known. Family Lepidotrichidae, family, family Nicolaetidae and family Lepismatidae. Family Lepidotrichidae includes two species. One of them is extinct. The other one, Tricholepidium jedetschi, is found in US. Family Nicolaetidae includes examples like Atelura species, and Nicolaetia species. Some of these family members are Myrmicophilus, which means that they are found in ants' nests. And some of them are Termitophilus, or they are found in termites' nests. Family Lepismatidae includes Lepisma species and Tinolepisma species. These two are better known as silverfish, and Thermobia species, which is also known as firebrand. Now let's look at their characters. Thysanura are small or moderate sized active terrestrial insects. You must have seen them at your home, in your clothes almira or bookshelf in your books. Uh, so you must have seen that they move really fast. Okay, They have a shining body and this order includes the popularly known insects which are popularly known as silverfish, firebrats and bristletails. I have already shown you the examples of this. Let's talk about their body shape. The body is dorsoventrally flattened and it is tapered towards the posterior end. It is elongated and spindle shaped. Their color is silvery or gray due to the scales present on their body. So their body is often covered with scales which give them a look of shining uniform silvery or grey colour. However, there are many species which are brown and firebrats have light and dark spots. So bristletails and silverfish, they are of uniform colour and firebrats have light and dark spots. Let's talk about the characters of the head. The head is prognathous. That means their mouth parts are protruded forward in the same dorsal line as the rest of the body. They have a pair of long filiform antenna or thread like antenna, and each of these antenna have 30 or more segments. They may have compound eyes, and these compound eyes. If they are present, then they are very small. Ocelli may also be present. If they are present, then they will be present in a number 3. And they can either be reduced or absent. Mouth parts are ectognathus, which means that mandibles and maxillae are not enclosed in the head cavity. So if you look at the uh, scanning electron microscope, picture of the head of silverfish then you will see that their mandibles and maxillae are protruded outside okay the maxillary pulp and the labial pulp can be seen outside so because these mandibles and maxillae are not enclosed in head cavity the mouth parts are known as ectognathus and they are adapted for biting let's talk about the characters of thorax Thorax is closely articulated with the head and if just seen 
from dorsal surface you may not see this demarcation of the head and the thorax because in many insects this line goes uniformly and there is a uniform line between the head and the thorax so thorax is closely articulated with the head and the broad thoracic segments bear large paranotal lobes at their sides let's look at what are paranotal lobes these extensions from the dorsal plate or the dorsal tergi are known as paranotal lobes here also you can see the paranotal lobes you should remember here that these are wingless insects and they are also primitive insects which means that they had evolved before the winged insects now in some wingless insects these paranotal lobes are used for gliding so in ordered zygentoma the thorax can have large paranotal lobes at their sides the legs have large coxa a small but free trochanter a long fever a femur and tibia and two to four segmented tarsi which end in paired claws so if you remember the insect legs there are three pairs of legs present in all insects each thoracic segment that is prothorax mesothorax and metathorax bears one pair of legs these legs are segmented or jointed the segments of the legs are known as coxa trochanter femur tibia and tarsus now in case of silverfish the coxa is quite large and the trochanter which is like the elbow like joint this is a uh, small but free then there is a long femur and tibia and two to four segmented tarsi ending in paired claws instead of pretarsus they have paired claws now let's talk about the features of abdomen the abdomen has 10 complete segments and there is a small 11th segment which bears a pair of long filamentous many segmented sarsi which you can see here one is this and one is this one and also in addition to this pair of sarsi they also have a multi segmented sarsi form or sarsi like median appendage which is a prolongation of the targum what is targum targum is the dorsal chitinous plate okay all these dorsal chitinous plates are known as targum so for the 11th segment the targum gets extended and it forms a sarsi form or sarsi like median appendage 10 pairs of spiracles are present on mesothorax metathorax and the first eight abdominal segments as evolution happened in insects they lost spiracles so there are fewer and fewer spiracles in more complex insects but since order zygentoma includes the primitive insects they have 10 pairs of spiracles so you would find two pairs in the thorax one pair on mesothorax one pair on metathorax and eight pairs on the abdominal segments the spiracles are present in the lateral sides of the segments so in each side you would find one spiracle making one pair of spiracles in each segment the external genitalia are modifications of the 8th and 9th abdominal segments in females both of these segments bear a pair of gonapophyses and these four gonapophyses together form the ovipositor in males there are just one pair of gonapophyses in the ninth segment and there is a median penis present which is never withdrawn in abdomen 
Sarsi is present nearly as long as the median caudal filament. I have already talked about it. So, these, this is the pair of Sarsi and this is the median caudal filament. They almost are same in length. And here if you look at the abdomen, you can also see that there are small appendages in the abdominal segments as well. So, there are three pairs of legs which are thoracic and then there are leg-like small appendages in the abdominal segments. So, these abdominal appendages include a coccyte and a style. So, these are the two segments of these abdominal appendages. Thoracic legs will have five segments or coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia and tarsus. But here you would only find coxite. Instead of coxa, here we have coxite and styli. So, this styliform appendages are located on abdominal segments 7 to 9. Metamorphosis is slight. The young ones that hatch from the eggs are similar to the adults except in size, absence of scales, styli and external genitalia. So, in other insects like pterygoat insects, you have seen that there are two types of metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis which happens through egg, nymphal and adult stages and complete metamorphosis where the adult stage is attained through egg, larval and pupal stages, right? But here, this kinds of metamorphosis are absent. Here when the young one hatches out of the egg, it looks almost as similar as the adult. And they differ from the adult in absence of scales, in absence of styli. Styli is the parts of legs, the abdominal appendages and sometimes styli are present in the hind legs as well. So, absence of styli and external genitalia. The molting continues even after attaining sexual maturity. In all other pterygoat insects where incomplete or complete metamorphosis is found, molting stops when the insect attains sexual maturity. So, after the insect becomes reproductively functional, it does not molt anymore. But in case of order zygentoma, the molting continues. In fire brats, there can be 45 to 60 instars. Okay, and every 10 to 12 days, they can molt. And in between this, they achieve sexual maturity at the age of about one year. And after attaining sexual maturity, in between two molts, they mate and lay batches of eggs. So, after each reproductive cycle, they molt. Now, this is very unique for order zygentoma, this molting even after attaining sexual maturity. Because in other advanced insects, this character is never seen. Last cycle is shorter in tropical regions and longer in temperate regions. Hope you like this video. Please come back for the next video where I will discuss the salient features and examples of order odonata.